All right, people of the YouTubes, what's up? Excuse me, I, I'm not situated correctly. All right, so this, I've, I've been wanting to check this game out. Um, I don't even know when it came out. I think it was like Tuesday. Uh, it's called The Valiant. Uh, you're probably semi-familiar with it if you follow PC gaming. Uh, basically, it, it kind of looks like it's Company of Heroes, but medieval. So let's see how it goes. I think it has mixed reviews, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean shit. Oh, and I was gonna say, um, I probably should have done that before I opened the game. Turn the volume down a million percent for a second. Um, for Resident Evil fans, uh, you know, the showcase was yesterday. They said in the video during the showcase that um, pre-orders were up, but everyone's question is, uh, where do you, where or how do you do you order the collector's edition? So for PC gamers, or you know if you're if you're trying to get it on PC, you literally can't. Uh, from what I've seen, I ordered mine on uh, the GameStop website. I, I had to do it for PS5 because like there wasn't an option for a PC. Um, it's two hundred and seventy dollars, including sh like twenty dollars shipping or something, twenty dollars tax. Um, they do not charge you until like five days before it actually ships. So if if you're looking for the Resident Evil Four Remake Collector's Edition, it was still available when I did it. Uh, that was like early this morning, so I don't know. Today is the twenty first. Um, I I don't know. You know, there's there's a chance that everyone that does is going to get screwed over because it's GameStop. I, I don't know that anyone else actually has a collector's edition. But if you're not looking for the collector's edition, you can also pre-order it on um, Steam or PlayStation uh, Network Store or the Xbox Store. They've all been up since yesterday. I, I must say, ouch, I just got a notification on my uh, my banking app confirming the charge. So I'm, I'm building a new PC, and I just bought the case uh, a minute ago. So there goes $100, $170, uh, and it's going to sit there for probably, like, a few months <laughs> until I, you know, until I install the rest of the components, like the case, or I'm sorry, the case, psh, the power supply and the cooler and all that crap uh, anyway the the goal is to have it ready before not just resident evil 4 comes out in march but to have it ready by the time dead space remake comes out in january um if not then whatever i guess i'll just miss out on all the the hullabaloo and maybe i'll play it on console i don't know but i'm not playing it on pc at anything less than ultra mega settings so it's time to retire this computer. Uh, it's been almost six years. It still runs most things perfectly fine. But, like, uh, the only two games... Well, no, I'm sorry. The only... I would say, like, the only five games that have come out recently that are showing my PC's age are, are God of War, um, Uncharted... Horizon Zero Dawn to uh, like a, some extent and um, Cyberpunk obviously and uh, what else I was going to say Scorn but not Scorn Scorn ran fine but whatever I'm sure there's another game anyway let's check out this medieval squad based combat I don't care about controls oh this looks fine is there a higher setting than high I guess there isn't a skirmish mode, although PvP may let you play against AI. So this is like a, it's it's like an RTS, I believe, but but kind of tactics at the same time. 
I hope it doesn't run like complete crap. I, I haven't actually played it yet. Often have I wondered what makes a true knight? Is it valor, courtesy, and conviction? As the church would have us believe? Or is it something looser, something nobler and more pure? I pondered the question at length and came closest to answering it while I traveled the world in the company of an extraordinary knight. His story began long before I met him, before I joined him on his personal crusade. It began in the Holy Land, where he and his peers fought a grim war in the name of faith. The Principality of Antioch, 1204 AD. Antioch, however you want to. Another loading screen. I don't, it doesn't sound uh, loud enough. Feels like there should be more shouting and stuff in the background. I'm not expecting total war here, so it, you know it's fine. Whatever. Uh -huh, I was gonna say the make or break for this is whether or not you can use WASD to move the camera, and you can. Got standard RTS gameplay here so far. Kill these dudes. We've got our standard rotate. I want to zoom in further. Yeah, we got that. Okay. Cobra squads have more fortitude, health, and vigor than other squads in war band. Is that cool? To be honest, you look better, brother. Is this a hero squad? Valiant brothers of the sword. Yeah, Derek. Why don't oh, I guess he's I don't control him. Okay. His devotion on Theoderic. I'm fine, Theo. Thank you. Cool. What I wish they they meeting the industry, what I wish they would do is release like a Warcraft game like this, but but not like like Warcraft lore and characters and stuff, but not Warcraft gameplay necessarily. Um, and, and by saying that, if you're an RTS player at all, you I'm sure you you've noticed that ever since Warcraft three, like every RTS game is basically the same, because every unit has abilities and and stuff. But it would be cool to have like a squad based Warcraft game where you still have, you know, devotion aura and, and healing spells and stuff like that. I mean, it's not like you can't do that manually by just using control groups, but it's not the same. Like, man. Damn, they just, like, zoomed. Okay. I, I really wish that you could zoom in further. Farther. Further, I don't know. 
however proper grammar goes. Am I losing dudes? Yeah, this dude is killed. Can I use devotion on other units that aren't mine? Have at the. Yes. What did he do? Did he level up or something? Why is it glowing? I mean, I like this so far. I'm not going to say that it's super exciting, though. They're routing. Kill him. Chase him down in proper Total War style. Ah, oh, there's fucking archers. Yes! Nice. I'd be with you. Go. Kill these Saracens. Okay. Oh, Retribution. Spin Vengeance to deal for... Oh, nice. So this is kind of like fantasy... Gonna defend from like countless dudes. I need to know what the numbers mean. This does not bode well. What happened? Did one of my dudes die? Oh shit. Come on, 100%. Do it! Ha! Yes. Kill everyone. Damn right it does. Surely they must be preparing for a final assault. They do not stand a chance against us, brother. Break them down. How long does retribution last? It doesn't say. I mean, I'm sure this is just the tutorial. Hopefully the game gets more complicated. Um, I'm sure you probably will get more abilities and stuff to use. In God's name. Come, brother. Oh, you can zoom in further. Why wasn't it working before? That's the still not very far. of high grass moving out Break them. no saracen dear lords but maybe we can scout the area without being seen retribution awaits ah, that intrepid who you shall feel my wrath behold a tunnel entrance it must lead to the fort how could we miss this we did not Theo. my dude's like invincible or <laughs> Kill these guys. I hope this is infinite. It's just based on consumables like vigor and stuff. That's what it looks like. The killing dudes fills your vengeance. Whatever you want to call it. Your vengeance meter.
Go back in your cave and stay there. Oh, did the fire go out? Yeah. In God's name. So, if I can go this way. I guess I can. Cool. Stealth around here. Come, brother. On the march. Oh, that's a cedar camp. What are these dudes? Are they on my side? They look like crusaders. They've got the cross on them. Do I get to... Do these become my dudes? About these guys, I guess they're just friendlies. But there's another tunnel that I'm totally ignoring. In God's name, y'all are just gonna stand there and let me do all the work in typical fashion, <laughs> typical RTS fashion. Can I do it from up here? Fine dudes. I'm curious why Steam stuff is popping up in the left corner, top left corner instead of bottom right. Soldiers, when they need it, these infidels seem to be seasoned veterans. Bastards, what is it? For the Templar, valiant brothers of the sword. Is getting destroyed. At the ready. More than certainly. If that is God's will, that was a waste. Maybe. 
die. Health, I, oh, their health is fine. Fortitude is like none, though. Wondering if these guys should retreat. Lord, guide my path. This may not have been a good idea. Yeah, they're gonna die. Not effective against heavy infantry. This damnable fort shall not prostrate us any longer, Sierra. My lords, the caliph and his honor guard were seen as they were getting away. The coward. Hunt him down, shall we? Must we, brother? He was a cunning enemy, but he is beaten. I don't think we. Then don't fear, Theo. We are going after him, and you capture that damned heathen. The ransom will be astronomical. <laughs> Holy shit, like how long is this intro mission? In God's name. The dudes are going to die. Lord, guide. 
of my past. Advancing. Certainly. If that is God's will, Lord, guide my path. of the Templar Order. I wonder if I missed something, like there was a horse option to use horses. Let's investigate this dig site just in case. Odd. Why were they digging here? Whatever the case, the Caliph could be inside. Let us proceed. Is the whole campaign just like one mission that never ends? Okay, good. What do you think this place is? Ruins, it seems. But they do not belong to the Arabs. Tread lightly. The floor seems cracked and unstable. Oh, uh, don't be such a worry, boy.
What is this, like the Lost Ark? Is this the, the staff of... of, uh... What's it called? The Spear of Longinus or something? I don't think so, because that, that looked like, more like an arrow. Cool. Okay, so... What are these mechanics? These are metals. Experience earns. So I assume when they level up that they get new skills eventually. Okay, I don't really want to be forced to play the next chapter though. So uh, it's kind of cool so far. Um, like I said, I'm hoping for some more complexity, like how in. Um, Iron Harvest, you can pick up the grenade launchers and stuff like that, or or run around and pick up could the strange relic be? packages. The young knight took its recovery from that dark hole as a clear sign from God. They had no way of knowing how close they were to the truth. According to scripture, the rod borne by the prophet Aaron, elder brother of Moses, is a branch of the tree of knowledge itself. It displayed miraculous powers during and after the Exodus and was considered one of the holiest relics of the times. Yet, its powers were not meant to be wielded by mortals for long, and so the rod was sealed away in the Ark of the Covenant upon Aaron's death. <laughs> Thus, that was right, it is the Ark of the Covenant. ...throughout the ages and eventually made its way to Jerusalem, where it stayed until that great city fell over 600 years ago. Before it could be destroyed, a group of erudite monks saved the rod by taking it south to the Dark Continent, and eventually being unable well, I mean, to bear the was... power, they broke it into three pieces. Their desperate act proved to be their undoing. Sundered thus, the rod began to seep a harmful influence into its keepers. It eroded their will and their faith crumbled. The last of them took the three pieces and went their separate ways, vowing to hide the rod's three parts from the world. The night had unknowingly happened upon the hiding place of one of the pieces. Their lives were irrevocably changed from then on. Kind of reminds me of the Berserker staff from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, obviously that was the campaign carried on. based on something else. Fought valiantly on Antioch's borders. Three months later, victory was close at hand, but then the Caliph returned at the head of a large Saracen army. The Templars, surrounded and besieged in a fortress they'd captured from the enemy, now had to fight for survival. Why did I need a loading screen to go to another cutscene? I mean, whatever. The Caliph Banner Rod. He must be directing the siege in person now. He has the gall to show his face again and play the conqueror. We would have done the same had he defeated us, nay, brother. Rebound and persist. We'll sorely regret coming back here. Looks like the Saracens are about to make a major. Yeah, so much for that guy. The wall cannot hold much longer. <laughs> I'm honestly not going to play more because I already have way too many games in progress but uh, that's the Valiant it's uh, I paid like $28 on Humble for it I think on Steam it's like $36 uh, US um, I don't know if there's a launch discount I think that is the launch discount but yeah like I bought it on Humble where it was cheaper Seems decent so far. Um, I'll finish it off 
after I do something. I, I'm still going to finish off Uncharted and uh, Little Nightmares and a million other games. And uh, I'm going to start the medium once, I, I guess, probably once I finish, uh, what do you call it, Little Nightmares? Or I'll just start it right now like I do with every other game. Who knows? 